This is 1G. You've already created the queries and the report that are needed, so you have an update query here. And you've got a query for the list of premium pitches. And then you've got a report based on those premium pitches called premium prices, which will look something like this, but in a house style. What we now need to do is create an automated routine. So I've gone back to my original database. Uh, so I've opened up the one that I'd saved before I've ran the update query. So I've still got the original pitch types. There we go, 33 and 34, 10 and 10 with the originals. And those are the original prices. And I'm going to create a macro that will run both of these uh, queries and reports together. So we're going to go to create and we'll select macro. A macro is basically an automated routine. I'll save this macro and I'm going to call it premium pitches. Seems to make sense. First thing I want it to do is run that update query. So I'm going to choose an action that will open a query. And the query that I want it to open will be the update pitch price query or whatever you called it in your go yourself. Next, I want it to open a report. And the report that I want it to open, and we go down here, open report, is going to be the one that lists those premium prices. So this will now do both things in one go. So we'll save that, close it down, and what I'm going to do is save my database again with a different name. So I'm going to save as, and this time instead of pre-processing, I'm going to call it post-processing. That just means that I've got my macro in the original database file, and I've got the original data so I can go and run it again if I need to. So just double check. My pitch type's £250, £110. Let's run the macro. It's going to go through asking me these questions, which I'll say yes to. And then there is the report. So let's now have a look. If I go to pitch type, we can see the prices have changed. Brilliant. We now have an automated routine. What you've now got to do is annotate how you did all of those things, including the queries, what the criteria meant, and including how you set up the report, and then how you set up the macro to run the update query and to run the report.